Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to unlock your iPhone 4S in iOS 5.1 and 5.1.1, baseband 2.010 and 2.012. Now, this is a GSM tutorial, which is an AT&T iPhone here in the United States. As you can see, there, the network AT&T and the baseband is 2.012. Like I said, it also works on Baseband 2.0.10, which is iOS 5.1. Now, uh, how do you know if you have a GSM or a CDMA iPhone? We're on in the video description down below. I'll have a link to this Wikipedia uh, web article that just uh, pretty much just tells you what type of iPhone you have by telling you what type of carrier uh, the iPhone is running. So, for example, my iPhone is an AT&T iPhone, as you can see there. So, I'm going to go ahead here into Wikipedia, this uh, uh, link that I'll have down in the video description. I'm going to go here by uh, its alphabetical order. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, click the U. So it can take me to the United States and I'm going to find the AT&T. And it will tell me what type of carrier AT&T is. So here it is, United States of America. I'm going to scroll down and right there it is, AT&T. If I go here to the right, it says it's a GSM iPhone. So that means this tutorial that I'm getting ready to show you guys will work for your iPhone if yours says it's a GSM iPhone. Now if you have a CDMA iPhone, I'll have a link up top here in this video. That'll take you to my CDMA iPhone if if uh, you do have a CDMA iPhone once you check. Because it's a totally different process. You For CDMA iPhones, you need to be jailbroken and the process is completely different. Uh, so go ahead. If you have a CDMA iPhone, click on the banner that'll be on top here. It'll take you to the CDMA tutorial. But if you have a GSM iPhone, this is all you need is your iPhone. No jailbreak required. And this tutorial will work perfectly for you. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and... Take out the uh, AT&T SIM card from this phone. Right there it is. And we're going to drop it here. Now the uh, method I'm going to be using is the Jevy Ultra S. Now um, at the end of the video I will be discussing where you can get this SIM card. So you don't end up getting scammed like I've had gotten scammed before in the past. I've bought SIM cards off of eBay. They were cheaper thinking I'd get a deal. And I'd end up spending more money. So I'll have at the end of the video a link into where you can go ahead and purchase this safely without getting scammed. Now the Jevy Ultra S is pre-programmed to unlock Verizon iPhones out of the box so we're gonna have to reprogram it. As you can see here on my computer down here I have a white SIM card and a T-Mobile SIM card. Now this white SIM card you're gonna need to drop it here on top of the Jevy like so and what that does is is we're going to reprogram the Jevy to unlock AT&T because like I said the Jevy is pre-programmed to unlock Verizon, so we have we're gonna to have to program it to unlock AT&T. But before we do that, just to demonstrate that this iPhone is locked, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the T-Mobile SIM card inside inside the phone, and uh, go ahead and see uh, how that works. It shouldn't make the iPhone crash, obviously, because this phone is locked to AT&T. Now, for the Jevy Ultra S, you don't need to be you don't need to cut the SIM card. Once you get the SIM card from your carrier. If they have the micro sim, it fits right on there on the tray. No cutting required as long as you get the micro sim from your carrier. So we're going to go ahead here and wait for uh, the T-Mobile sim card to load without the Jevy to uh, confirm that the phone is locked. So it should take a good 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and wait for this. So there it is. The iPhone is crashing. Now, um... If I go here through the activation required process, if I go here, it's obviously going to tell me that my iPhone, the SIM card is not valid because obviously this phone is locked to AT&T's network. Now what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to drop the white SIM card on top of the Jebby like I did here. And we're going to insert it inside the phone and we're going to power off the device first and we're going to insert the SIM card, the Jebby SIM card with the white SIM card together to reprogram it and once we boot up we are going to get a prompt that is going to ask us the type of carrier that my iPhone is locked to so when that we get that prompt I'm going to go ahead and select AT&T obviously because my phone is locked to AT&T and that's what I want to program the Jebby SIM card to unlock AT&T so let's go ahead and wait for the boot up and I'll show you what I mean right after that now, a question I do get asked a lot is uh, if I have a good ESN or a bad ESN, for those that be asking me that question, this works for good or bad ESNs. It does not matter what type, well, if your iPhone has a good ESN or a bad ESN, it will unlock it. As a matter of fact, 
the um, the iPhone I use for my CDMA tutorial has a bad ESN and I fully unlocked it no problems so yes it does work for uh, good and bad ESN iPhones and uh, another thing you don't have to be jailbroken to unlock a GSM iPhone okay so go ahead here and select AT&T we should get prompted that the Jebby has been programmed we're gonna hit accept and we're gonna eject the uh, Jebby we're gonna drop the white SIM card and now we're going to insert the T-Mobile SIM card with the Jebby at the same time and we're going to power off before we do so. Now, like I said, you don't need to cut your SIM card or anything. It fits in there perfectly just as long as you have the micro SIM card. So let's go ahead and power off. And then we'll power back up. And we should be unlocked to T-Mobile. Now, as you may know, here in the United States, T-Mobile does not offer the iPhone. So um, we're going to be unlocking it to T-Mobile. Let's go ahead and wait for the boot up. So we're almost done booting up. So there we are. Now we should get prompted uh, twice that our iPhone has been successfully unlocked. And then I'll be discussing right after we get service. I'll be discussing where you can grab the Jevy Ultra S so you don't you do, don't get scammed guys uh, uh, I've bought SIM cards before like I said just because they were cheaper and they end up up not working and I ended up spending more money now there's no free unlock if a free unlock becomes available I'll bring it to you the second is available as of right now if you really really need an unlock this is the way to go uh, and I'll have all the links in the video description down below so make sure you read the description if you have, guys have any questions at all do not hesitate to leave a comment down below so there it is, hit uh, accept. Okay, so that's the first prompt. So like I said, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer your questions to the best of my knowledge. And if I don't know the answer, I will redirect you to the appropriate source and where you could get the answer if you run into any issues. Okay, so let's go ahead and wait for the second prompt. And we should be fully unlocked on T-Mobile here on the iPhone 4S. Now, like I said, 5.1 and 5.1.1, baseband 2.010 and 2.012. Okay, guys? No jailbreak required for GSM. Only GSM. CDMA iPhones is a totally different tutorial. So, like I said, click the banner up top here for the CDMA tutorial if you have a CDMA iPhone. So, just go ahead and wait for the second prompt. So, there it is. Hit accept. Now we should get service here within the next 30 seconds or so. We're going to go ahead and make the phone call once we get the service and we'll go to the settings to confirm that the network is up and running. So there it is, T-Mobile. Let's go ahead and dial 611. Now we should get T-Mobile on the other end obviously because we're running on the T-Mobile's network. T-Mobile. So there it is, T-Mobile fully functional on the iPhone 4S. Hello Siri. There is Siri running on the Hello, iPhone 4S. Master. Okay, so let's go to these settings. There it is, the carrier option. We're successfully unlocked. That wasn't there before. And if we go to about, there it is. We got T-Mobile and here's the baseband 2.012. And we successfully unlocked our iPhones. Now, how do you get your hands on these new Jevy uh, without getting scammed. Well, it's really simple. I'll have a link down below to the, my blog right here You can go ahead and grab it once you go here to to the uh, Source of the link you're going to go ahead and select the 3999 which is the CDM, CDMA plus GSM 3999 gonna go ahead and click the buy button and it's going to take you directly to the safe PayPal process paying process and the uh, guys I'm using for this video is Hera Wireless. You guys might already heard of them. I've been using these guys for a while. We've been partnering up to bring these unlocks for you guys because you guys have been asking for them. Now, you can go ahead and pay with your credit card if, you, if that's what you wish to do. Or you can go ahead and pay with your PayPal account if you have one. 
Now, right now, there's no international shipment. I'll let you guys know if that becomes available soon. But for right now, no international shipments. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up if you did enjoy it. It helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, make sure you check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my blog. If you guys have any questions, that's where I keep you guys up to date with everything uh, and the latest on iPhone. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys real soon. Peace.